This episode of The Arena, a multi-platform gaming news podcast extra take, is brought to you by, well, of course, you. If you want to learn more about how you could support the show, go to patreon.com slash the arena underscore podcast. Hey everyone, welcome into our next episode here of Extra Take, where we're going to be uh, discussing Elden Ring. So uh, I'm your host, Expat, along with my co-host, Burley of Burleman Gaming on Twitch. Burley, how you doing, man? Uh, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Finally yeah, we can talk about this game and get this footage used. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a while since we've done an Extra Take, yeah, so oh, uh, yeah. the last one was Pokemon Legends Arceus, so yeah, I'm um, yeah. looking forward to it. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it. So uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about Elden Ring, of course. Uh, it's already been preordained as the game of the year by a lot of people in the gaming community. Um, I don't know, I mean, I have to you know leave my opinions aside because obviously i'm not into these type of games uh burley has played some elden ring of course he can talk about it as well but uh yeah i'm not into the soul series so i'm going to be throwing out most of the questions for uh burley and of course burley uh, provided the the gameplay footage uh for this episode of extra take so i want to uh thank him for that so anyway let's go ahead and uh i'm gonna go ahead and minimize the screen here and let's go ahead and get into the gameplay uh burly so uh what are we gonna see first here so first here you're just gonna see me loading in into the world and i am playing this on the ps5 so you notice it goes quite quick okay so, so this is gray old dragon barrel yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a the little well i'll show you later on but this is a grind spot so okay. this is just me showing you the map and I'm zooming all over and just... Now, is that the entire map there? Yeah. Uh, there's a, a lot of air. The, I believe it's the entire map. And this is okay. just me going over little basics on my equipment. Right. Just to show you kind of what I have. And okay. here's... The, the, just going through my items. While we're doing... While I'm just showing this off. One thing I really don't like is... You cannot pause in these games. Oh, wow. So, really? I, yeah, no. Right now... Even though I'm in this venue right now, I could have an invader come in and just kill me. Oh wow, really? Oh. Yeah, it's 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 not a feature I like. So like, on the uh, dual sense on the dual sense controller, if you press like the the pause button, what happens? Nothing, nothing whatsoever. Uh, the, the options gives you like just a like basically your uh, the that that button will give you I think like your basically your just quick game and all that. Okay. So. And yeah, this that, map looks uh, that, a lot that, bigger uh, than. I was gonna say this map looks a lot bigger than uh, the Bloodborne. Uh, oh yeah, no, the the, so, the yeah. map in this is huge, and as we've stated before, bigger doesn't always mean better. Okay, so this is Limgrave, huh? Yeah, this I'm is kind of where map. after you come out from where you start here. Okay. So now, what I'm doing over here is because there's a, a a pretty tough boss over here that I've already killed. But what I'm doing is I'm going yeah. to the one little spot here. Yeah. And this little statue here, I can't interact with it and to show it off, but it's to turn multiplayer on and off. Okay. You can kind of do for the area. So uh -huh. when you get to a new area, you can turn it on. Okay. Uh, this is just now, me forget. Let me ask you this question, Burley, when it comes to the boss battles. I mean, how is Elden Ring uh, different... And how are, how is it similar to other Souls games when it comes to the boss battles? Um, that that is a good question. Uh, first off, the first actual story boss you have to fight is because mm -hmm. uh, Demon Souls is the Soul game I have the most knowledge for. Mm -hmm. So it is if you compare the first story boss in this to Demon Souls, yeah. It's probably about a mid to late tier Demon Souls difficulty boss. Okay. Demon Souls, in, in my opinion, because I only have experience with the remake, the first boss right. isn't actually bad. It can, 
it'll take you a few tries. It may take you a few tries, but it's more mm-hmm. about you learn you learn the mechanics of the boss pretty quickly, and okay. you'll be fine. And so it looks like you're a- picking up different like flowers and things, and that's that's for health, I would assume, right? Nope. The flowers no. that I'm picking up, these petals, are not not for health. I had dropped okay. the sign earlier, just so if anyone's in that area, they can summon me to help them for that boss, because I kind of oh, wanted okay. to show that boss. Because right. it's a boss they show you, and you're you're put out near that area, but mm-hmm. you can't kill that forever. Like, oh. you go try and kill it when you're the level one, you're going to die easily. Okay, so I, this I'm is a, the boss here, right? Yeah. No, this is just a regular mook. Oh, regular just a regular. Soldier. Okay, soldier. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm just okay. I, I I'm I'm normally a mage. I'm a mage class, the astrologer class. But I'm okay. showing and you. And how many classes? Least... How many classes are there, Burley? In Elden Ring, I think there. I think there are ten. When ten. you wow, okay, it's like ten, ten to twelve. But the flowers I'm picking up. What you do? This is something I don't like. In Demon Souls, you had an unlimited use item of just putting putting down your sign mm-hmm. for uh, and stuff like that, and allowing people to join or. They could put down their, uh, sorry, they're putting their sign for them for you to summon them into your world, or that that you putting your sign down for that them to join you. Uh huh. There, it's not the case in this game. In this game, uh-huh. you have to grind, you have to find these flowers and craft them, or you can buy them. Okay. But since the money is the same thing you get from killing the enemies, the ruins, that's mm-hmm. what you use to level up. You kind of don't want to spend money. You want to go out find the stuff and craft. Right. And this right. is just me showing you I got a small item called a gold ruin. It gives me a couple ruins. Okay. So that increases so. your health on the health bar there, too. So, okay. Uh, no. That's just... Oh, no. The, the, the ruins... I can up my health if I have enough to level up, and then I level up the one stat that puts... I see. Into, okay. ...into health. One thing I must say is if you... Normally, everyone will tell you Souls games magic is overpowered and the best way to start. I can honestly say for demon souls if you're playing Mm -hmm. start off mage first magic makes the game in my opinion fun because you don't have to be up close you have that you know safety net and magic is fairly powerful in demon souls like you can when you get later on and get the high spells oh it becomes (laughs) fun because you can just annihilate a group of enemies and have a lot of fun now, I, I've been noticing here in this footage, there's like a small post there, and then there's a larger post. What are the differences in those? Like uh, those little poles that you were talking about earlier? I think, uh, uh, yeah, see, there's a smaller one there. Oh, that, the that's one. to turn on the multiplayer. Oh, the tu- uh, okay, okay. It's to turn on multiplayer, I see. Okay. Yeah, and this is just me going in the menu crafting. Uh, mm-hmm. The little rest, uh, the little crystal you saw me rest at, that's where you level up. You can mm-hmm. rest, but if you rest, you can choose what time of day you're going to and all that, this and that. Yep. Uh, so, but as soon as you rest, any enemy around this area that you killed, they're, they're, they respawn. So that's oh, the thing. Okay. I was, I tried for a bit trying to get into summon into the multiplayer bosses. And mm-hmm. here, uh, I, this was my fault. I, I do apologize here. I was summoning the horse because I hadn't played the game in a couple days, and I, I forgot because <laughs> I'm forgetting because I'm playing two different games where uh-huh. the controls for the mount. Uh-huh. Uh, the this mount is so helpful for you because you have double jumps and stuff like that you can use, so you can mm-hmm. use to get out of situations. Because in yeah. this game, fighting every fight is not not wise. Right. Now, a lot of the boss battles, in what time of day is it usually that you're fighting these boss battles? Is it in a day sequence or a night sequence? Uh, it depends in the area. Depends, depends on, on the area. Okay. okay. But you can fight them at different times. Okay. It, it, it. But there are some bosses, like, because uh, I, I, I've learned this from streaming the game, uh, uh, what I did, is mm-hmm. some bosses will only come at night. But okay. here, here's the thing. We, we were talking about this story a while ago. What's too big for open worlds and stuff, and that they're getting too big? This yeah. game, there's a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of side bosses. But my god, you need a guide to find this shit. Like it's it is yeah. so it's so cryptic. And the story, mm-hmm. this is one of the weakest stories I've ever been. I've got about 26 hours. I know yeah. very, little to nothing. This game doesn't tell you anything. And this is where the first ma- uh, story boss is. So I'm mm-hmm. trying to because this is a pretty active point. Yeah. I'm just trying to drop it in. My, my okay. sign here. 
I unfortunately can't show this because I don't have the footage. Uh-huh. But when I went past that sign there, it deleted my sign. But the one thing I do not like is the multiplayer in this game is atrocious. Wow. It is one of the worst multiplayers I've ever seen in my life. Hmm. Because you cannot... It's not cross-play is one thing. So since I'm a okay. PS5 user, I can only play with PS4 or PS5 users. Uh, so you can't so play that, with Xbox users, yeah. So Xbox or PC. Right. So like I know people are like, oh, it's Sony's fault automatically. And it's like, I don't know necessarily. Sony has been bad for that. Let's. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not giving Sony s- s- pass. But if it's right. Sony's fault, I would be, if I was Bandai Namco and all them from Soft, right. I'd, be, I'd be singing it out and saying it's Sony. So, so you're saying... Sense. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So you're saying? Let, let me let me just uh, ask you this question, Burley. Uh, you were saying just a little bit, a little little while ago there that this this is one of the weakest stories of the any of the Souls games that have been coming out. So, I mean, yeah. there there were uh, of course reports uh, about George R. 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 Martin, of course, having uh, influences in in the creation of the story. But I mean, yeah, and that was kind of. Uh, you know, uh, canceled out uh, in another uh, in another article that was saying that basically he he maybe mm-hmm. maybe had one or two percent of input into the creation of Elden Ring, whereas it, uh, the the Japanese uh, development at uh, From Software basically took things over. So uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. Do you think uh, that's one of the reasons for a weak story? Uh, oh, oh, hundred percent. A hundred percent. I think they used George R. R. Martin's name just to get only his name, just to, it, it boosts yeah. sales for and marketing. It, yeah, yeah, for marketing and boosting. Like, because this game has sold insanely well. Uh-huh. Um, here's uh, I, I'm going over this area a because we'll do a little combat, but we're coming up to this little pillar thing here. Yeah. Um, if you go touch that, it adds it. It shows the map to you bits yes. of the map so you don't get a th- so you can kind of understand and, and read the map better because as you saw in some parts of the map are not read uh, um, uh-huh. giving you any detail or anything now mm-hmm. you saw me summon there these are what do you call the ashes of war okay you can get these different little summons so that way if you're playing single player mm-hmm. you you and you don't have multiplayer friends and all that or get randoms you at least have a better chance. So I'm using the wolves one. They're not exactly very powerful, but they're they're good at sometimes drawing the aggro. Right. And at right. this point in the area of the game, they can do not too bad damage. I'm not focusing, but I'm I'm still helping them out because I want them to live. Right. But like, and, and can they help you out a lot in in the other bigger boss battles? I mean, they can help you, but my my kind of thing, I I I like them and hate them. Their 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 AI can, is is spot. Their 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 AI their AI, like the wolves here. Sometimes they just won't attack things, oh. or just it's it's really very spotty. And mm-hmm. the thing I don't like is that you cannot use them everywhere. So oh, okay. it's like I can't I can't and like I don't know. I've got about like twenty six hours in this game. And so I it's basically don't... hit and hit and miss then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's not something like some bosses you can, some you can't. And like some uh-huh. areas you can, some you can't. It, it's right. it's not a very clear cut hmm. where where you can and where you can't. I see. Uh, yeah. Now But go back on the story. Yeah. This isn't just one of the weakest stories for a Souls game. This is one of the weakest stories I've played in gaming history. Like I I've seen NES and Super Nintendo games that have had way better stories, right? Than than this. Speaking of Nintendo, I mean, no. Obviously, this game is out for PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Could you see this game ever coming to the Switch? Yeah, that I think they will work on porting this to the Switch because. At this point, this game has made an insane amount of money. Yeah, and it's like yeah, it sold why over not? twelve million copies like in the first month or something like that. Yeah, so. uh, okay. yeah, like this, the, it, it is just insanity. So yeah. they're they're going to want to just have you. They're going to want to get it on anything they can. 
Right. They, right. they, they will downgrade it and put the switch. Here's just a bigger enemy because I haven't mm -hmm. fought in any bosses. Like, it, it, it took me a bit. I do show a boss and uh -huh. I do show my, my ass getting kicked. Here, <laughs> this is just a yeah. regular, this is a quote unquote regular enemy and this is just before the second story boss. Uh huh. And it is just like, Ouch. and I'm like, <laughs> keep in mind, I've beaten the third or fourth story boss. So. I mm -hmm. shouldn't ex necessarily have that much trouble, but it does a lot of damage to me and my magic. Now, That's one thing. The ma the magic in this game, horrible. Mm -hmm. The starting spell you get yeah. is the one I'm using. That's the best spell I have. I've gotten wow. a bunch of other spells, and I have a high intelligence stat. Right. The, now, the, spe the spells I this... have are worthless. When you, beat this, when you beat this boss, do you have a particular save point that you can... Uh save the game oh yeah anytime you beat a boss you get these little crystal sections right after you beating the okay. boss there okay. like any story boss so yeah. yeah so that's that's similar to bloodborne then it's like when you beat a boss that's when you were able to get a save point yeah. so. same with that same with uh demon souls yeah yeah so um, most of the souls games yeah so they i see they mm. they do keep it to the souls like if you are a souls fan uh -huh. they, you do get your your stuff here, but this this one I just I find for for what I've played of Souls like Demon Souls I had my fun I had some hard hardships with it, but yeah. you saw me because I rested at the thing the demon guy is back and it's like yeah uh, I don't so he respawns uh, uh, interesting. yeah because I rested uh, uh, to refill my flasks and refill my mana okay so uh, so right now I'm just reason. searching. Because this was not in the base game. It's a little yeah. hard to, for people to maybe see. But mm -hmm. you'll see on the map at some of these uh, shrines, uh, the crystals things mm -hmm. uh, that you go to, you'll see a little guy's head or something saying that someone else is here. So this uh, is one of the magic teachers that I've found in the game. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have some of these spells, but some of these spells are worthless. Uh, like the, the one spell is only good. It's a, a shooting wave. Mm -hmm. I, I don't show it off, but I have to get to do the same damage that I do um, with my normal starting spell. I have to get all the enemies grouped in a spot and hope my wave hits them all. I see. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, so it's not... Yeah. They, they've, yeah. And the problem is with updates in this game, they've keep... they ner Like, I understand they need to nerf and change things. Mm -hmm. But they like nerf stuff, then re upped it. And like one of the bosses, they nerfed it for a bit and mm -hmm. then re put the boss up in the higher stats, which I don't, I really don't get. It's like, okay, okay if you're, you're, you're thinking your boss is too hard and then you mm -hmm. nerf it and then you re put it back up, what, what, what message is this sending? I say. Now, when it comes to, I'm wondering, like, on, for p players i mean for it comes to character creation and everything can you do any kind of modding and stuff oh i'm sure i'm sure there are mods yeah now here for anyone that wants to level up you want to get to this area pretty quickly uh -huh. because what happens here you go on your horse this little right. boulder thing will spawn here as long uh -huh. as you look off and you fall see it falls it drops yeah. about 1200 so uh ruins ruined souls and all you have to do is warp back at the point, and you can uh -huh. do that. Uh, wow. Rinse and repeat, and you mm. can level up. Mm -hmm. Making this is, this is my preferred way of leveling, because mm. for me to get that amount of ruins for killing enemies that I can kill mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. would take me probably about ten to fifteen minutes. That takes me like thirty to forty seconds. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And so here, these little things. Uh, you, you can, can like go... jump and everything there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These little wind things, you have to be on your horse. Right. Or your okay. goat, horse, whatever people want to call it. I see. Okay. So, and we're about to see a boss here. Mm -hmm. I forgot this is just a dead dragon because there are some dragons that are just laying in this game that uh -huh. you can go fight. Yeah. And like get a did, sneak attack. Did you ever fight? This. Did you fight one? Did you fight a dragon Where? in this game? We're about to see a dragon shortly. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, and here's the boss. So, uh -huh. this is me stupidly going on here <laughs> and being like, "Oh, hi." Uh -oh. <laughs> yep. And here's the dragon. Uh, yeah. My spell. My spell isn't even because my spell has shitty uh, range. Uh, it's not even doing any damage. 
and just died. his basic yeah. fire breath killed me. Yeah, yeah. So we're now gonna see me coming back here because now if you know. So, so I just want to say this. I just want to say this. That was George R. R. Martin's only influence on this game was the Targaryen dragons. <laughs> yes. They had to put dragons in this game, of course, and so that was the marketing ploy. Anyway, but yeah. Okay, what's going on now? So me going back because I showed in the menu there I had lost all my runes. Okay. So I'm going. I'm going back for them and me marking on the map because it gives you a little icon saying hey you've lost your ruins mm -hmm. so me me going between off and off my horse because what I want to try and do is stay far away but I gotta get up close there and I want to get my ruins but I don't want to trigger the boss necessarily because yeah. I trigger that boss and I don't get my ruins he's gonna kill me and I lost all those ruins I have to not say like, here I have to say here about the rain. It doesn't mm -hmm. does the, the the graphical quality here doesn't look very good for the rain. <laughs> no, I'm no. not. Yeah. yeah. That's there, just me being got... a little nitpicky, I guess, but yeah, so. Yeah. The... What what was that line there? That that was the marker that I okay, made on marker. my map. I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah, and me getting my runes and just running. I'm booking uh -huh. it. Like I am not I'm not taking any chances. I uh, wanted to show more boss fights off, but the problem is because once you kill bosses, you can't refight them. Gosh. Something I really wish these games would do because I'd like to, you know, repractice these bosses. Now, we're, we're coming close to the end of the footage here, but there's yeah. something you really important you need to know this because this gives you this is something you need to do. You need to close out of this game through here. You can't just hit the PlayStation button and close the game because you have a there's a potential of if you close the game that way it can screw your save up. Wow. That that is yeah, no you you want to hit quick game and then once you get back to the menu then close the game or turn your console off. Mm -hmm. it, it's not a system I like it's because of the whole online networking and all it does. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I can I can see why people really enjoy this game. If uh -huh. you're going to play this game, don't play ma Magic users. Okay. Because Magic is just a mess. I Like, I am... With Demon Souls, not only did you have a better starting spell, but the spells you had options for, the first couple of spells at the Magic Tutor in yeah. the hub, mm -hmm. were, were, were much better and had different use cases. But you could at least... If I bought them, it was like, okay, I could use this for this situation. Mm -hmm. I had better use cases because all these spells I've collected so far, yeah. it's like I just feel like I wasted my runes, and that's runes I could have used to level me up. I see. Now, tell me, Burley, how how long on average does it take to, to complete Elden Ring? I mean, from the start of the story to the end of the story. It... it on average, I'm hearing from people like 50 freaking hours. Wow. From okay. from people I know. I'm like at 20, I'm still very early on in the game. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the thing. And I'm just at a point of it's like, it makes me want to abandon my character, change the play style completely, and rebuild a new character. But then I got to go through a bunch of crap and a bunch of grind. Like, the mm -hmm. grind on this, I understand you need to grind, but the grind feels like old school Dragon Quest. Yeah. And when you're that bad at grinding, mm -hmm. it's not exactly very good. Okay, next. Is there any replay value to this game? There is a New Game Plus, and okay. you, if you go New Game Plus, because there are a lot of quest lines you can do, mm -hmm. but you, you need guides for this, but like, because you, you could kill this one NPC off permanently. Okay. So you can go new game plus they're back and now explore the different sides of the quest. Mm -hmm. So like you can't do everything on your first run of the game. Mm -hmm. So you have to do new new game plus multi plot multiple playthroughs to get everything. And it's like uh... I, see. I I think this game is just too too big and too guidey and it has so many bosses, just to say it has. Some of the bosses are recolors. Mm -hmm. And 
and it's not just one time they recolor a boss. Some cases there's like four or five of the same boss, but it's different color and the last version it has a new attack. And it's mm -hmm. like why? Yeah. This is like this is just Capcom. It, it's it's basically if you've played the Mega Man games of just taking the Capcom thing of you fought this boss before, but we're gonna make you fight him again and maybe another time. Okay. I, I don't necessarily like that. Mm -hmm. if, if you're gonna make like one or two bosses fine, like if they're the story bosses making me refight them, and let's yeah. say they come up with new attacks and stuff like that, that's fine. But mm -hmm. some of the smaller bosses that you use to grind levels, mm -hmm. not so much. I don't I, I don't I don't like that. And just to say you have over a hundred bosses or whatever the damn number is on the back of the box. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not not a good thing in my opinion. Okay. Now my final question to you. This is just a speculative question, but do you think this game will get a sequel? I I think this game's going to get DLC. Okay. It and in what time frame do you think we're going to get some kind of DLC for this? Probably in about a year, 6 months to a year. I see. I I, I would imagine because this game is selling, still selling and making a lot of money. And this game is right. so popular with the internet. And the right. problem is, is like, it is, you can't critique it. That That's mm -hmm. a, that's the sad thing. I said on my streams, like I've complained about the multiplayer because mm -hmm. the multiplayer, uh, I got into it a little bit, but you can't easily like, not just because of the whole cross play, but like if I go to summon you, mm -hmm. I can't necessarily, if you put down your sign, I tap your thing. Even if you and I have good connection, doesn't mean the connect, uh, the thing is going to go through. You have in the multiplayer this thing to put group passwords. Even if we put the same passwords, yeah. we could still be waiting. And I've had this happen on stream, up to ten to fifteen minutes waiting to summon you Jeez. in. Jeez. And that's that's, that's not, too long. Yeah. Yeah. Like I've played other multiplayer games where I could uh -huh. do I could do entire matches with that. Right, of right. Yeah, like, that's way too long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, of course, uh, like I was saying at the very beginning, this is kind of like preordained by a lot of Souls lovers that it's going to be the game of the year. And, and probably it's going to end up winning game of the year. I mean, uh, but uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. But we, I mean, we, yeah, we still got Ragnarok. Yep. Still got Ragnarok. We still got Starfield. I mean, there's there's other we games. We still got Pokemon. Up. <laughs> yeah so but yeah um we shall see but anyway uh all right so uh i want to thank you burley for uh providing the footage of elden ring so uh this has been our extra take on elden ring so our next extra take that we're going to be doing will be on horizon forbidden west and that's going to be coming soon so stay tuned for that but we hope you enjoyed this uh this edition of extra take and our uh you know our uh look at uh, Elden Ring and uh, some gameplay footage of it. Uh, so uh, we hope to catch you in the next episode of Extra Tag. So I've been your host, Expat, along with my co-host, who did most of the talking because obviously <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not much of a Souls player. So, uh, you know, Burley, yeah. you know, he's got a lot of experience playing them. So uh, I want to thank you for, uh, you know, uh, spending most of the time uh, going over the game and uh, giving us uh, some of your uh, takes on it. So, uh, so thank you to my co-host Burley of Burlamin Gaming on Twitch, and we hope to catch you in the next episode of Extra Take, which we will be doing, of course, on Horizon Forbidden West. So thank you so much, and uh, we hope you have a great uh, day, great weekend, and uh, have a great uh, time gaming. And uh, if you're going to play Elden Ring, we hope you enjoy it. So take care, everyone. Peace care. out.